been here for about 34 years now. So uh, it, <laughs> it's been yeah, a while. That's, that spring break, uh, I guess, changed everything for me. <laughs> there you go. Well, you know, we wanted to have you on because we wanted to get your thoughts on the on some of the Vegas over unders with the NFL training camp starting. And, you know, today is what the 28th of June camp is just around the corner. As soon as you hit the 4th of July, you know, training camps just around the corner. And I, I just want to get your thoughts on the 49ers and maybe some of the over unders and who do you like and who you don't like and let Danny and, and Ryan throw some your way. Why don't we start with the 49ers? Because I think the 49ers are an interesting team this year as far as Las Vegas. We don't know for sure if they're going to trade Jimmy Garoppolo. Um, it sounds like they're going to, but we don't know for sure. Vegas, I'm looking at the over-under at 10, um, and and you know it's Trey Lance's first full year as the uh, 49ers starting quarterback. Uh, the Niners are a favorite, I would imagine, in Las Vegas just because of the proximity to to Northern California. Um, where did the where did the Niner number open, and and what's the action looked like since it opened? Well, we opened uh, ten there, Larry, and that's where it stands right now. We, we're getting pretty. Uh, I mean, balanced action there with a little bit more on the over, and I kind of lean towards the over, just looking at what the Niners have surrounding Trey Lance because we do think he's going to be the quarterback. He's going to be the guy. I think they they have all the tools for him to be a somewhat of a conservative. Uh, quarterback. I think they have some great receivers that that, that uh, well, I'm I, they have to sign uh, uh, Samuel. But uh, once I'm sure they're going to figure that out. But to once he's in there, um, they have a couple of receivers that really can run with the ball after the catch, and I think that uh, that fits right into Lance's early uh, experience there, where he'll be able to dump and 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 really make a lot of short passes. They got a great running game. I think Mitchell was a, a great find last year. And, of course, their defense is going to be very solid once again. So you're looking at 10 wins. I think the, de- or the division is going to be very tough again for them, um, uh, at very competitive. But if I was to lean uh, one way or another, I would probably take the Niners over 10. You like him over? Wow. Um, you know, I'm looking at uh, at some you know Super Bowl odds that say the Buffalo Bills are the Super Bowl favorite. Did they open as the favorite? Do they remain the sole favorite? Or are there, are there co favorites? How do you guys have the Super Bowl? Uh, you know, the Super Bowl picture right now. We opened the Bills a favorite at six to one, and and of course, uh, you know, the whole. Uh, Buccaneers uh, story with uh, Brady retiring, then unretiring. You know, they're actually the co favorites now, as we've been receiving a lot of action on the Buccaneers, which surprises me because I look at that Packers team and I look at their schedule. You know, that Packers team is going to be right there again. And, you know, whether they can win in the playoffs, we'll. We'll, we'll see, but uh, that Packers schedule and the way they're setting up for this next uh, year, even though they don't have Adams, I still think they're going to be there at the end. Um, but the NFL is so wide open. You could you could probably make a case for the top you know, 12 teams or so because any one of those teams can come out there and win it. You can go all the way down to the Chargers. Chargers would probably put a season together despite that tough division and come out on top. But right now we do have the Bills at six to one and Buccaneers six to one, the two co favorites for the Super Bowl.